after releasing plenty of watches through its subsidized companies, Xiaomi is finally here with a watch carrying its own brand. Yeah, Mi Watch is a fact, finally released internationally and we inspect it right now. Welcome, tech for our channel, Michael here, and finally I had the chance to try the international version of the Mi Watch, so here's the summary based on a couple of weeks of using it. It's interesting to know that Xiaomi already have another Mi Watch, it was released for the Chinese region only, so this particular one here is called Mi Watch Color, but inside China, however its international version is called just Mi Watch. Very interestingly, it's manufactured by 70 Mai, a company known primarily for its dash cameras that is just entering the market of wearables as opposed to Huami, which Xiaomi used for their Mi Bands and developing the Amazfit brand. So if you've ever seen any wearables like Mi Watch, Amazfit, Mi Bro, 70 Mai, they're all one way or another related to Xiaomi. Saying all that because I want to make it clear that for the Mi Watch, Xiaomi seemed to have cherry-picked the best. This device is first of all good looking, very well built and packed with good features and on top really well priced. Yes, Xiaomi launched it together with the Mi 10T Pro and it costs around $100 or Euro here in Europe or 10,000 rupees in India, the latter one being a huge focus for the company. Feature-wise, it is similar to the Huawei Watch GT series, the Amazfit GTR and GTS devices, generally the type of wearables that are closer to the fitness trackers rather than true smartwatches due to the limited hardware resources and basic operating systems. But in return, they all give phenomenal battery life. In this episode, I will tell you how the watch performs as compared to the Huawei Watch GT2 Pro and Amazfit GTR. So, unboxing was fun, actually it was part of the mystery box events and came as quite a surprise. Xiaomi challenged me to test 10 of the workout modes, so you can head over to the official Xiaomi channel and see how that went. We carry on with the unpacking of the Mi Watch. I like the color of the box and that's the keyword, color. That's the so-called navy blue and the frame could also be black or beige and there are six different strap color options. I will hereby praise the strap material and quality really great. Reminds me of Garmin's Vivo Active texture. Now, I need to tell you about the hardware strengths and as usual I will show you a list with all the drawbacks by the end of the video. The display is really good, most watch faces have tried are matching well the positive sides. It's AMOLED screen behind a Gorilla Glass 3 and 1.39 inch diameter. Brightness goes as high as 450 nits, which is not bad, but the Huawei Watch GT2 Pro is supposed to reach 100 nits in peak moments. There's a 420mAh battery inside, 1GB storage, Bluetooth 5, SPO2 sensor, optical HR sensor, ambient light sensor, it's waterproof for swimming and weighs only 32 grams. There seems to be a microphone right here. It's currently used for the Chinese edition to control the Xiao AI Smart Assistant. Internationally, the phone will receive Alexa support. NFC is not available for the international version. There is no speaker, therefore no phone calls. You see, it is more or less covering most features of a fitness tracker with extra GPS, better battery life and of course a much nicer and colorful display. Let's talk about the software. Even if you often follow smartwatch trends, this kind of interface is something you may see for the first time ever. It's not fundamentally different to others, but has some ideas which are quite nice. So navigation first. The top button opens the app section and acts as a home button as well. The bottom one is configurable, press for quick access to the workouts, this is at least the default behavior. Now the swiping actions, swipe down to see the notifications, swipe up is for the quick toggles, swiping left or right is guiding you through the main tiles. What I really like here is the big and daylight friendly fonts. If you open each of the corresponding apps from the app drawer, there will be significantly more data. Let's take a few examples, HR tracking, showing the various zones and also the statistics for the last 30 days which appears here at the bottom, stress tracking is also looking good and feels rather accurate to me, let's take a look at the sleep details, again, they are well grouped and have visibility for light and deep sleep and overall sleep score. What you're going to notice is that these icons actually look a lot like the MIUI app icons. 
So if you feel like this watch could be a great match to a Xiaomi smartphone, I'd say yeah, totally. Before taking a look at the phone app, let's also check the workout section in the settings. There are 17 professional exercises and up to 100 different kinds of exercises to be tracked. Thanks to the inbuilt GPS, you could collect a lot of details. Good news is that if you do hiking or marathon running, there's no need for your smartphone to be around because of that. Also, the expectation is to have close to 50-hour battery operation with the GPS on. Quite a good achievement indeed. In terms of accuracy, that's something I was thoroughly inspecting with the Amazfit GTR 2 because of the reputation of the predecessor. Things with the Mi Watch are way better and I think we can all agree that the GPS tracking is more accurate. Inside the settings, you can enable or disable always on display, fine-tune the vibration, the wrist raise gesture or set a display password. The Bluetooth connection to the phone was stable at any point of time with rather good coverage and notifications worked flawlessly. Emojis are natively supported, some apps icons are missing though, there also is a camera trigger and I've always wondered why such a thing would be ever needed, but in times of social distancing seems to be handy. Let me show you the smartphone app. You may expect to see Mi Fit or Zep app, but no, it's called Xiaomi Wear, because remember this is not a Huami manufactured device. The app is good, a new beginning. Yes, there will be plenty of features to be added in the coming months, but it is good even as it is. You can adjust most of the phone's features and the main widgets shown. There's a lovely watch face customizer, currently more than 100 watch faces. As you may expect, there's a lot of good statistical information as well for steps, HR, stress and generally any kind of data you decide to add. I think that despite the not too many customizations, the app is pretty good, no crashes and I appreciate the clean interface. Here is an example of how sports activity would look like. Since there is GPS data, you can see your actual route. It all gets synced once it gets connected to the phone. Ready now for the list with the weak points? Well, I hope to see a way to make phone calls. Since there is no speaker, I was hoping to see an option to connect Bluetooth earbuds, but no. Lack of NFC, so no payments. Lack of Strava integration, which I've heard is on its way, but for now, we'll probably keep some of the athletes away from using it for sports. And the firmware updates are quite slow to be installed. The last one took me about 15 minutes, which went well beyond my expectations. I can't say that any of these drawbacks are too problematic if you expect from the watch great battery life and good tracking features. It is not smart smart, just feature rich smart, includes the mighty Alexa AI assistant and I think of it as a great fitness tracker on steroids with a lovely display, just amazing build quality and quickly developing smartphone app at the price around $100. It's apparently behind the Watch GT2 by Huawei or Amazfit GTR2 in terms of features, not to mention the Apple Watch, Galaxy Watch or any Wear OS based devices. But apparently here the goal is to get great battery life and health tracking and giving me a full week of using it with always on display, with sleep, HR, stress tracking, occasional sports and some SpO2 measurements. It excels in its own class, so I think the Mi Watch is about to be a success story. It already is, since the Chinese edition appeared almost a year ago and looks like many people wanted it even before it became international. That's all you need to know about the Mi Watch. Or should you have another area of interest I haven't mentioned or covered, feel free to ask in the comments below. As usual, link to the device with the best deal I found for you is in the description. I very much thank you for sharing the time with me and hopefully you've learned something new. Maybe you can now spend another few seconds to show me your appreciation by hitting the like, subscribing to the channel and sharing the video with friends via social media. Take good care of yourself, my name is Michael and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day!